That used to be Labour's position too. But when I look at its leadership today, I worry it's no longer the case. We all remember what the Labour Party used to be. We passionately disagreed with many of their policies. Every Labour government left unemployment higher than they found it. Every Labour government run out, ran out of other people's money to spend. Every Labour government left the economy in a mess. But at least they had some basic qualities that everyone could respect. They were proud of our institutions. They were proud of our armed forces. They were proud of Britain. Today, when I look across at the opposition benches, I can still see that Labour Party, the heirs of Hugh Gateskull and Barbara Castle, Dennis Healy and John Smith, but not on the front bench. <clears throat> In, instead, their faces stare blankly out from the rows behind while another party occupies prime position, the Jeremy Corbyn party. The Jeremy Corbyn party rejects the common values that once bridged our political divide. Just compare Jeremy Corbyn's behavior to that of his predecessors. Would Neil Kinnock, who stood up to the hard left, have stood by while his own MPs faced deselection and needed police protection at their party conference? Would Jim Callaghan, who served in the Royal Navy, have asked the Russian government to confirm the findings of our own intelligence agencies? <laughs> Would Clement Attlee, Churchill's trusted deputy during the Second World War, have told British Jews they didn't know the meaning of anti-Semitism? What? What has befallen Labour is a national tragedy. What has it come to when Jewish families today seriously discuss where they should go if Jeremy Corbyn becomes Prime Minister? When a leading Labour MP says his party is institutionally racist? When the leader of the Labour Party is happy to appear on Iranian state TV but attacks our free media here in Britain? That, that is what Jeremy Corbyn has done to the Labour Party. It is our duty in this Conservative Party to make sure he can never do it to our country.